Howdy, and welcome to Daily Miles. So a couple of weeks back, I uh, had a little tiny problem with my coolant reservoir. It's leaking, it sprung a leak, like what you're seeing right now. And I put some, I, I basically patched it over and thought everything was happy hunky-dory. Notice the past tense on that statement. So a couple of days ago, I just said, you know, looked at the, looked at the coolant reservoir and thought, that's uh, doesn't have enough coolant in it. I should add some. So I added some, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not doing so well. So I'm here at AutoZone in uh, New Brunswick, Brunswick, New Jersey, and uh, just bought a coolant reservoir. And with the help of Lucas, uh, I'm going to uninstall it. But first, it has to cool off. So I'll pick you up when it's cooled off. Well, that was at Oodles of Fun to Take Out. And uh, yeah, not good. Anyways, well, now that it's out, gotta put the new one in. And that's the new one. It's got to go in. All right. It should just fit right in there. Yes. Boom, and got a new part. Yay. Let's get that one on there. Oh, me. Glug, glug, glug. Moment of truth. Let's start the van. Ah! Alrighty. Looks like it's holding. There you go. Repair all done. Repair success. Unfortunately, that's the cheap version. What do I mean by that? It's time to get that rattle fixed, which means I'm gonna spend a pile of money this week. A monster pile of money, and I gotta be honest with you, I don't have the money for this so uh, I'm gonna thank Chris so the last couple of videos you've seen uh, I've thanked him and this is why I've thanked him so uh, he donated a massive amount of money to get my van fixed so guess what's happening to get my van fixed thank you Chris alrighty kitties So here I is waiting for a mobile mechanic that I found on yourmechanic.com and uh, still not here. He was supposed to be here for a 12.30 appointment. It is now 1.30. I don't know where this guy is. Christopher is here. I'm not going to put him on camera just yet because even though he's comfortable with it, let's just not go there. So he's here. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it. Tell you what happens. So what's the problem, Christopher? Unfortunately, I found noise coming from the timing, timing chain system. Uh, usually the timing chain system has plastic that is uh, good for about 11 years and then it's designed to fail. <laughs> Well, it's not the alternator. As much as I would like it to be that, that dog's not gonna hunt. So uh, fortunately for you, or for me, I have done the, the timing chain install, reinstall, put back together four times. Thank you very much, Larry. 
Uh, so it means getting another timing chain, which is not cheap, but there you go. But more importantly, that is going to cost me a pile of money. So, according to Christopher, it's uh, the timing, uh, one of the timing belt uh, clamps that hold it in place. And we're going to get, well, I'm going to get the parts in order to make that happen. Unfortunately, the parts are $220. Uh, and that's because it comes in a kit. And unfortunately, Ford does not sell this particular part. Otherwise, bing, bang, boom, we'd be out for like, you know, 20 cents. But you have to buy the whole fucking part to get the whole nine yards. So we're doing the whole thing. To be clear, that is a spark plug chamber number one, and it's full of oil. That's not supposed to happen, is it? Hi, kitties. It's my engine cover. There is my timing belt or timing chain. And the problem child, right here. The tensioner is not doing its job. Hence the ravel. And this kitties, is the problem child right here. This is what caused the problem. It was uh, not functioning to spec. Something is amiss. It ain't, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, that's awkward. Alrighty, kitties. Uh, it's been a minute since I shot that. About three days. So let me catch up a spell and cut right to the chase. I'm fucked. I'll explain why. When you do a, a timing belt adjustment or uh, the tensioner chain, the tensioner chain uh, needs to be adjusted in any way, shape, or form, uh, that means you have to take off the engine cover. And in taking off the engine cover, you have to remove the crankshaft pulley. That pulley has to be calibrated exactly right. If it isn't, nasty things are going to happen. There's a very specific tool that you have to use in order to take off that crankshaft pulley. And Christopher did not use it, and he, and more importantly, he did not know about it. The reason that I know about this, thank you very much, Larry, is years ago when, when I bought the van, Larry bought the instruction manual for X, Y, and Z for the Ford Transit Connect, and then gave me a copy. So in looking at the the instruction manual on when, you know, when you have to do jobs like this, it specifically states, which is what you're looking at right now, that if you remove the engine cover and you remove, and you have to remove the, the crankshaft pulley, which is what has to happen in order to get the timing belt, you have to use an alignment tool. If you don't use that alignment tool to remove and to take off the crankshaft pulley and to put it back, nasty things are going to happen. That's how I got fucked. Now, to, to be fair, do Christopher know about this? No, he didn't. Is it his fault? No, it isn't. He'd been doing this for 25 years and his thinking was, you know, you take the, you take the engine cover off, you do, blah, 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 you do your thing and put it back and everything's bing, bang, bang. It should work just fine. Not with a Ford Transit Connect. Did I know about this? Yes. Did I forget about it? Yes. And in my zeal to get shit done, that happened. So what's the end result? 
cut to the chase, Miles. I thought you were going to cut to the chase. I had to explain the chase first. So uh, the end result is more than likely um, because I had to drive it a little bit, I have damaged my engine. Uh, we don't know to what extent. I have to do a, a series of tests to see whether or not the engine is still salvage salvageable. If it isn't, then I have to dump the engine. And that means buying a brand new engine. Do I have money for a brand new engine? No. Do I have money to have somebody install said new engine? No. Am I fucked? Pretty much, yeah. Am I asking you for money? No, because at this point, I'm ready to pull my fucking hair out. Okay. I still need to get the project done. Still have four chapters to shoot. Lord knows how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> The end result of this is in consultation with Larry, we are looking at a number of options and we will get to that point when we get to that point. Do I know what that point is yet? No, I do not. So there you go. That's what I got. All right, first things first. So thank you very much to Chris for getting me this far. Thank you very much to Christopher for fucking up my engine. I know it's not your fault, baby. I'm not throwing shade. And more importantly, thank you very much to Larry for listening to me whine for two goddamn days. You, my friend. And mostly thank you to everybody that's watching this stuff. It's been a long, strange trip, kitties. Thanks a bunch for listening. Thanks a bunch for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.